Welcome to Gus Tech. My name's Brock, and today we're going to be doing... Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you not read the YouTube comments? They want me. Gus. We're back, baby. <laughs> this is the Dell S2716DGR. Holy crap, that's a lot of alphanumerics and a really terrible name. But if you think of it like this, it's the sexy 27 inch 16 for some reason dagger. Then it's a little bit easier to remember. Anyway, let's talk about the monitor. It actually is a fantastic value. It comes from Dell. Dell has been making fantastic displays for about as long as anybody. This is a TN panel. It is 1440p. It can run at 144 hertz refresh rate, and it has G-Sync. G-Sync's awesome on a monitor like this because when you're running 1440p, even on a modern video card like a GTX 1080, which I have in my rig, you're probably gonna have a little bit of issue hitting 144 hertz consistently. So when you have a little bit of frame droppage down to 100 or 90 hertz or whatever it is, this monitor is going to sync it up with G-Sync. You all know how that technology works. And if you don't, you can watch the video in the description below because we made a video on it. And it's changed a little bit since then, but not really. So, Dell has done a great job making a very ergonomic and cool looking monitor. They did away with the shiny bases that they've had on some of their monitors that get all smudged up and fingerprinted. And uh, it's a nice matte finish. It looks really clean on your desk. It has a very thin bezel that doesn't actually have any plastic overlaying it. It actually fits right in line with the screen itself, which makes it look pretty clean. The picture quality for a TN panel, I think it's pretty exceptional. The colors are really good, and it does have some pretty good black levels when it comes to the LED backlighting. This monitor comes loaded with features for the gaming community. Obviously, it has a number of different inputs. You can use DisplayPort, which is what's going to allow your G-Sync to work. You can use HDMI on it as well. Uh, it has multiple inputs. You can, your inputs you can put in your Xbox into it, or your PS4, or you know your DVD player. Just kidding. Dell has made this monitor pretty feature-rich. One of the cool things that it does include are some USB ports on the side. These are pass-through for USB 3.0. It actually includes one of those ports being a lightning connector. So it uses the latest USB technology if it's supported on your desktop, which some of you may have, most of you probably don't. You probably just have regular USB 3.0. But if you do have, again, the extra benefit, one of the ports works for that. It also has an audio out, not audio in. So if your headset has a microphone, uh, you're not gonna wanna plug it into here because there's like a little splitter and it's not gonna fit all the way back to the back of your computer. But if you have a separate microphone, like a snowball or something like that, that'll work great. Something I didn't notice at first, it actually has two additional USB 3.0 ports right next to the pass-through in the rat's nest down at the bottom which is nice because for one USB port on your computer, you're essentially getting four on your monitor. So a little bit of expandability and actually from Dell, I think it's a pretty good move because for a lot of video game players, as of now anyway, and the recent you know movement is that you have a smaller motherboard. You have a smaller overall compact case. That means that you have less ports. So if you're taking it to your friend's houses, it's really nice because it's movable and portable. But if you have like 1200 things you plug into your computer, like I might, then it is really nice to have those extra ports available to you. It has a fantastic stand. I know a lot of people are getting into having multiple monitors on their desk with different, you know, controlling arm stands that you can raise and lower, and that's really neat. The nice thing about the Dell monitor is right on the back, there's a button you push, it releases the mount, so you can take off the standard mount, you don't have to unscrew anything, and you can go pop it right onto your multiple arm setup if that's what you want to do. But if you're using the base it comes with, it actually works really well. As you can see, it'll rotate without any real issue. And because it's a TN panel, now you can't see anything. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not really kidding. You really can't see much when a TN panel is vertical. I don't really know why they have that option, but it is cool that the stand is nice and ergonomic in that sense. 
Um, overall, it moves pretty well. It does get a little bit sticky, especially on the rotation. It's not the highest build quality we've ever seen, but again, for the price point, which is right around $450 to $500, it actually suits most needs, I think, without creating any issues. Now, if you're a fan of having a handle on your monitor, it doesn't have a handle. <laughs> I don't know why you'd be a fan of having a handle on your monitor. Uh, if this is your primary monitor that you're using for gaming, and it's something that you're gonna be looking at directly in front of you, you're not gonna be needing different viewing angles, and hopefully you're not gonna be needing it to, be, to have that vertical orientation, I think it's a pretty fantastic value. Dell has put a lot of work into making sure that their LED backlighting doesn't interrupt the ambiance of your video game. It's not gonna come through and look really bright and saturated. The colors aren't great still because it is TN, but for a TN panel, it really is calibrated pretty well. And uh, the contrast in it is pretty nice because in video games where things get a little bit dark and harder to see, you can actually see them with a bit more brightness and vibrance on this monitor. And again, it's not just a result of the LED lighting, it's actually how they've calibrated the TN panel to kind of give you a bit more pop so you can see into some of those darker areas. So you might be sitting there behind your monitor. And you might be thinking, Gus Tech, a bunch of idiots. They're saying this is a good monitor and it's only 1440p. <laughs> and we're not really that stupid, that's rude, first off. But second off, for the size, 27 inches, and having it set on your desk, you know, get 12 to, I don't know, 20 inches from your face, 1440p looks phenomenal. And honestly, it's gonna be hard to see any sort of pixels. It's gonna look really sharp and really crisp. So while there are 4K monitors that are 27 inches, honestly, I don't know that it's all that bad to have a 1440p at 27 inches. I don't really think there's any real drawbacks to it. So is this the best gaming monitor you can buy? No, probably not. But is it a fantastic value? And in its price point, is it one of the better models out there? I think so. A TN panel, which this is, it has 1440p resolution with 144 hertz refresh rate and G-Sync. This is actually a pretty good value, especially when you account for the fact that it has the extra USB ports in it, which may or may not be applicable to you as the individual using it. Overall, if you're on a budget, and it's not a super constrained budget, this is a great price range for a monitor. Obviously, there are similar models from Asus, from Acer, from pretty much everyone else who makes monitors for gaming use. But Dell's done a fantastic job and we can definitely recommend their specific model. Link in the description below to this particular model as well as the other equipment that we use to shoot our videos. I can recommend this. We actually use this as our gaming monitor because again, the price is right. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe because we are putting out more content even though it seemed like we weren't for a while. More on that to come. The point is, we're here. We're not. Never mind. <laughs> Gus Tech's back, baby. Tell all your friends. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Tumblr. If you, if anybody uses Tumblr anymore, I don't even know if people do that. Will you use Tumblr? I don't know. Okay. If you use Tumblr, share it on Tumblr. If you use Snapchat, I don't know how you share it on Snapchat. I don't know how to use all this stuff. But if you know how to use it, share our videos because we really appreciate all of our loyal viewers. If you use the links in the description to purchase any of these products, it does go directly towards supporting us as a channel, allows us to make more high quality content, and hopefully you feel like the content is getting better as opposed to what it was last year when we shot our last videos, but we're shooting more. So again, we love you guys. Thanks for watching. We are Gus Tech, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>